Hey guys, can I give me another movie for guys? And uh, this movie we're reviewing, I am so happy to finally review this movie. I mean, I'm sure we were all really looking forward to this movie. Out of any movie in February, this was obviously my number one. I mean, I could not wait to watch this movie. I heard, I mean, just the trailers in general, everything about it, just... Just going back to like April Fool's Day when this when this was announced and things like that. I mean, it really is incredible. And that movie, of course, is Deadpool. Deadpool has finally come out, and I am so happy that I finally saw it. And I was really looking forward to Deadpool, but I do have to say that there were a few worries about it that I will get into. Definitely some things that I thought wasn't going to um work as well, but the trailers were great, the test footage, which I have not seen the test footage, I never really did see it, because I just figured, okay, a trailer's gonna come out at some point, so I just waited for that, I haven't seen the test footage, but of course the test footage, and then of course the April Fool's Day, just everything about it, I could not wait for Deadpool, and I am so happy that I saw Deadpool, because Deadpool, yes, I do have a poster, which I am definitely putting up, because in my opinion, Deadpool is one of the best superhero movies ever made, and... It's not exactly a superhero movie. It's really not because, one, Deadpool doesn't even see himself as a superhero. He wouldn't want you to call him a superhero because he's anything but that. What this movie's really about, if you guys don't know, is it focuses on this man, Wade Wilson, who he basically is this mercenary. He protects teenage girls from um, basically these really bad stalkers and everything. He goes after them, but he doesn't really do it in the cleanest of ways. And one day he meets this girl, Vanessa, basically. They start to connect and everything. And everything seems to be good until he finds out that he has stage 4 cancer, which if you guys don't know, that is terminal cancer. It will most likely kill him. He realizes that, and uh, basically he um, finds a way to prevent this by Ed Skirkin's character. I'm not going to reveal what happens, but basically he is going after Ed Skirin because of something that Ed Skirin did in his past, and that's really all I'm going to say, um, and that's basically plot of Deadpool. Now, there there really is a lot to love about this movie. Like I said, I did get a poster for it. I am definitely going to put it up, and you guys will definitely see it on my wall probably in the next video. But, um, where do I even start? I mean, there's so much to love about this movie. First of all, it really just got everything right, I have to say, especially the cast. The one worry I had with this movie is that the rest of the characters were going to be overshadowed by Deadpool. Now, let me just say right off the bat, Ryan Reynolds was perfectly casted as Deadpool. I mean, I don't think you could have gotten a more perfect casting. This movie would not have been made without Ryan Reynolds, because Ryan Reynolds was not happy, of course, with the way that Wolverine turned out. I don't think anyone was happy with the way that turned out. They didn't get to use him to his full potential. They didn't really get to explore Deadpool. And I think they really only did that so they could censor the movie. But no, this one didn't at all. This one was just like, we don't give two shits what we're doing. We're going to you know, make the character Deadpool the way he should be, and I love that. But I also really love the character Wade Wilson because, like I said, he doesn't really see himself as a hero. He sees himself as this guy that's doing some really bad things, and it's just helping out other, you know, protecting people from even worse people. And I found that very interesting about him. I really loved his character, but he was also so funny and such a great lead. He was hilarious. He... Just had so many great one-liners, too many to name, definitely too many one-liners to name, and it's really one of those movies where you want to go back and re-watch everything that he said, because it's just that funny. They do make fun of Wolverine, this movie, I'm going to tell you guys that right now, they do make fun of that. They even make fun of Green Lantern, which is great, just everything about Ryan Reynolds is this character. Like I said, I couldn't see anyone else playing this character, he just has this character down perfectly. I honestly think it's probably one of the most perfect castings in any superhero movie. I can't see a more perfect casting in a while than Ryan Reynolds. Like, I've seen perfect castings, but I don't think anything as perfect as Ryan Reynolds. I mean, he really just embodied this character so, so well. But I also really feel that they gave him this character. Yes, he's sarcastic. Yeah, he's kind of an ass, but that's his character. He is an, he's an asshole. He's sarcastic. He's not the nicest person, but he has a reason for all that. And I think they really explored his origin story very well. And I just really loved everything about him. He just did a great job. But like I said, guys, my one worry is that all the other characters in this movie are going to be overshadowed by Ryan Reynolds. And I think while Ryan Reynolds gives the best forms in this movie... 
all the other actors are great, and I don't think anyone was underused, and I was very happy about that, especially Marina um, Basarin as Vanessa Carso, and this is not the first time I've seen her, this actress, I saw her in Gotham, which you guys know I'm not a fan of that show, but I loved her in this movie, I really loved her character, because Vanessa also is not a great person, she has a very shitty life, I believe she is in this same thing that Wade Wilson is in, and these two connect right off the bat, and I loved their little love story that was there. It actually was kind of sad at points. I was surprised by how deep they got with this story, but I thought they did it very, very well. It starts off as a sexual relationship, and then becomes a lot more, and I really love these two. I think they did a great job together. They had really great chemistry, and I really didn't know what role Vanessa was going to play in the movie, because we saw only a few scenes of her in the trailer, and I thought that's all we were going to get, and I also also felt that this was just their way of like getting us to care about Deadpool and showing why this movie's important but no their love story felt very genuine and I really loved it and I thought they just did a very good job and I'm happy they went the direction with Vanessa that they did because I thought someone's gonna happen to her and didn't and I'm very happy that they didn't go that direction I loved her character thought she did a great job and I just thought she was fantastic now the one person I know a lot of people are going to talk about is Ed's um Skurin, sorry if I'm pronouncing his name wrong, Ed Skurin. I not see the transport refueled. I don't plan on watching it. I heard that movie was shit. But I know a lot of you are going to say, oh, he was a very weak villain as Francis Freeman or Ajax, whatever you want to call him. I thought he was great. I really thought he was a great villain because he was incredibly menacing. I mean, he was very menacing, and you understood what he was doing. I mean, he doesn't really have a motivation because he's just a really bad, bad guy. Like Deadpool says in the movie, he's a bad guy, but there are worse guys out there. Francis is like the top of that list, and... You understand why Wade wants to go after him, and you understand what he did to him, physically and emotionally. It really is tragic to watch, and I'm going to say this. There are some scenes of his character I genuinely felt terrified. I really thought he did a great job. This is a guy you don't want to mess with. I really loved his character, and I really think he did an awesome job in the movie. I loved what they did with his character, and I was surprised how much I liked him as a villain. I mean, sure, he might not have been the most developed of villains, but he was there for what he needed to do and I'm not going to complain when you use a villain to its full potential because I don't really feel they could have done anything else with this character and I thought he was just fine. TJ Miller as Weasel was hilarious. I really loved his character. This is Wade's best friend. He helps him out with things and just a lot of the things that he said I thought were very funny and uh, especially one part where it seems like he's going to help him out. What he actually says I thought was very funny. I loved his character. Very funny stuff there, definitely. Uh, Gina Carano was hot. I will definitely say that she was hot, but she also was a very good sidekick for um, Francis. I thought she did a very good job. I definitely really liked her character as well, who I really do want to talk about, though. The two that surprised me the most that I didn't think I would really care about as much First of all is Stefan um, Kapasik as Colossus. I loved this character. I thought he did an amazing job. This is not the first time, of course, that he's playing this character. He did play this character in Last Stand and Days of Future Past, which I did not remember that he played in Days of Future Past, but he just did such a great job in this movie. Seeing his team up with Deadpool, what he wants him to do, because he wants Deadpool to be part of the X-Men. That's what he wants. But Deadpool obviously doesn't want to go back to the X-Men because of Wolverine but also because he just doesn't think it's the place for him. But I also thought he did a really good job of being a good motivator for Deadpool. Like, he really helped him understood who he really could be, and I just thought he did a really great job, and I hope we see him again um, in other X-Men movies because I really liked his character. I thought he was definitely very well done and definitely, I think, one of the best performances of the movie. Um, then Brianna um, Hildebrand as Negasonic Teenage Warhead I thought was also really great. I really liked her character. I liked the most of the time she was just this teenager that just didn't really give a fuck what you thought of her and I thought she did a great job. Um, definitely really good character. I also really loved um, Leslie Ugoms as uh, Blind Al. I don't want to talk about who Blind AI. I thought she was also really funny. I don't want to talk about much about her character but I thought she did a great job and I definitely really loved her. Over Overall, this cast was perfect. I really don't think anyone did a bad job, and I really thought everyone was great. I loved um, the cast for the most part. And the directing here by Tim Miller, I also really loved. I thought something I really loved is how ballsy of a film this really is. I mean, this is by far Marvel's ballsiest film. 
not just because of the nods they make to other Marvel films, but knowing this is a Marvel film, you think they go in a family-friendly direction. I mean, we all remember Mario Lopez's whole thing um, on April Fool's Day when he said, well, you gotta make this family-friendly. I like that they didn't do that. I like that they made this adult. You need to make this character adult. If this was family-friendly, this movie would not have worked. You need to make it adult, and I'm glad that Tim Miller went in that direction. But what I also really loved is that his direction in this movie is never really mean-spirited. And that was something I was thinking, that he would just be offensive or raunchy to be raunchy. But that's not really what he did at all. I thought his directing was very impeccable, actually. I thought it was very funny at times, but also had a very good message of what a hero really is. I really feel that's one of the big parts of this movie, is that it really goes into what it means to be a hero, which I think a lot of movies nowadays don't really get done as well. I mean, things like the Avengers, yes, they're heroes, but what does it really mean to be a hero? What are the qualities you need to have for that? I think the movie really explained that very well, and I definitely really like that. And something else I loved about the movie, that well, I'll get into that with the screenplay, but I thought the directing was just really good here. It's not the strongest part of the movie, for me, the strongest thing about this movie, without a doubt, is the script. The script, oh my god, it, it's probably one of the best scripts I think Marvel has ever done in any superhero film ever. I mean, it's so many things. It's an origin story, it's a revenge story, it's a coming-of-age story. I mean, it's really a bunch of things, and I love that. Basically, here's what I can say. All the best elements you can take it of any superhero film you've seen, put them into one movie, that's Deadpool. That really is what Deadpool is. Just a lot raunchier and a lot more adult. That's really what I can say. But something I really do want to talk about is the character, is the costume that Wade Wilson is in. He doesn't have any, like, abilities. You know, he doesn't heal. He isn't, like, you know, he can't, he can, ha he has super speed, like, he can fall and things like that. But... He really, when he gets hurt, he gets hurt really, really badly. And I really like the way they did that here. It showed that he is just a human being. He's not, you know, while he has mutated and things like that, he is still, you know, just a human being and he can get hurt and he's not always going to win. And I think the movie showed that very, very well. He has to do some very questionable things to get out of this situation. And I really like that too. But like I said, one of the things I was most impressed by was the love story in this movie because they could have easily made this just a very oversaturated, serious version. But no, it was still very funny. It was still a lot of fun to watch. And also very meaningful, like you really understood what went wrong in that relationship and why Wade had to leave Vanessa and things like that and why things just turned out the way they did. I really felt they did that very well, I really enjoyed that and there were some really great scenes between these two that I surprisingly really loved. And something else I loved is that I never felt like the movie was wasting anyone's potential. I felt like all the characters got the screen time they needed. The writing, it didn't feel like there was anything cut out of this movie. Like, recently in Marvel films, especially Age of Ultron, it felt like there was a lot of stuff cut out of it. This one, it didn't feel like that at all. It felt like everything that they need to keep in was in here. It felt like they need they knew what they need to keep in, but they didn't try to take in, you know, they didn't try to add anything, you know, um more that they didn't need. I really felt they used everyone to their full potential, and I really love that. The writing was just great. One of the best screenplays in a while, and honestly, I think it's Oscar-worthy, really. It is. Um, I'm, I'm joking, guys. It's not Oscar-worthy, but it is an awesome screenplay and perfect for this movie, definitely. The cinematography here at times feels very low budget, and honestly, I really appreciate that because we're so oversaturated on these Marvel films, and there's so much action and things going on in them that I liked a movie that was more toned down. I know a lot of people have said this. This movie really does feel like an India points. And honestly, yeah, it does. It doesn't feel like a Marvel movie. And that's kind of the direction they wanted to go in. They wanted to show that, yeah, we can do these big action scenes, but it doesn't have to be throughout the entire movie. There are, I'd say, three action scenes this entire movie. Now, there are little sprinkles here and there, but like full on action scenes, there really are only three. That'd be the beginning, a scene in the middle, and then the end. That's really only the three action scenes. And I definitely really did appreciate that, and they're very well choreographed, they're very well handled, and I like that this was set in modern day, I definitely thought that was very well done, um, the wide shots, I love that they made fun of certain shots and angles, things like that, I mean, this movie really took in everything, and I've never really seen a movie that makes fun or has many breaking the fourth wall nods as this one does, and I love that they did that, I thought that was awesome, and definitely one of my favorite parts of the movie, all the breaking the fourth wall stuff, I thought was awesome, I absolutely 
absolutely love that. The editing here was perfect. I didn't think there was a single dull scene in this movie. Every scene got us somewhere. You got introduced to a character, you introduced you, you know, you knew their motivation. And the beginning, I think, to some people might be a bit choppy, but for me, it worked perfectly. I really thought they, um, you know, didn't put in any necessary, you know, any unnecessary filler. I know a lot of people complain in Marvel movies, they always have the filler in there. There wasn't any in this movie. There are some scenes where, um, you know, there are people, there's a lot of talking, but there are important scenes, and you need to listen to the conversations. And if you, you know, it's if you're disappointed by this movie, I don't see how. I mean, yeah, they kind of advertise an action movie, and it is that, but it doesn't have as many action scenes as you think it does. It has a few here and there, but for the most part, it's very dialogue driven and I really appreciate that because it's really trying to tell the story of Wade Wilson who he really is and I thought that was also very well done and I really love that so like I said, the editing was perfect. The soundtrack here was great. I mean, I don't usually talk about a soundtrack in the movie, but the soundtrack here I thought was fantastic. I mean, the song we hear in the movie, X Gonna Give It To You, yes, it is in the movie. I'm very happy it was in there. Um, the score in general, though, was awesome. I love the score. Just everything about this movie was so well realized, and I think they really used it, like I said, to their fullest potential. There was really nothing wrong with it. I have nothing I cut out, nothing I do differently. I really love that. I do want to talk about some spoilers, though, because I just really want to talk about them. I want to talk about some of the things that I really loved about this movie. I definitely thought that was definitely very well done, and uh, let me just get, you know, things I thought were very well done and things that I was very impressed by. So let me just get to the spoilers because there's a lot to get into. Um, so if you guys haven't seen Deadpool, do not watch this as a review because I'm going to spoil literally everything about this movie that I personally really did care about. And some of these might not be huge, but I just feel if you want to go into this movie not knowing a lot, which definitely it's it's something to go into. Like, you go into this movie knowing nothing about Deadpool, you're going to come out wanting to know literally everything about this character because he's a lot more interesting than you probably thought he was, and I really love that. So let's just get into it. Okay, so I, I think I first want to talk about how brutal the torture scenes really were. I mean, those torture scenes of Deadpool being, you know, of Wade being tortured by Francis... They're brutal as hell. I mean, I couldn't even look at the screen at some points. They were really hard to watch, especially when he mutated. And I, I didn't talk about it in the spoilers because it's not, you know, the plot of the movie is us knowing he's hunting down this guy, not knowing what he did. So I didn't really want to talk about it in the spoilers, but those scenes were so hard to watch. I honestly cringe, guys. I really did. I mean, they were really hard, but very well handled. And that's something else I really did admire. I mean, think of the scene... Think of some scenes in Marvel movies that have been PG-13, they haven't really been able to do a lot with them. Well, here they can. They can show people being beaten up or shot to death or and shot and things like that. They really did all that very well, and I really love that. But I think the thing I really want to talk about is the final fights between Wade and Francis. I mean... First of all, Francis admitting straight out that there's no cure for what Wade for what he did to Wade it really shows that I think the real motivation in this movie, the real villain, is the decision. I mean, I think really, while Francis is our main threat, obviously, the decision really is the thing that has made Wade the way he is. And he even says in the movie, if I wouldn't have made one, you know, every my life is revolved around one decision. I really think his life would be different, and he understands that, and I really like seeing that. I think they did that very, very well. Then the ending with Vanessa, I didn't think Vanessa was going to live. I honestly thought she was going to die, because I believe in the comics she does die. I'm not sure. But um, when she didn't die, I was pretty surprised, honestly. I was like, wow, she's actually alive. And then when he removed his mask and showed her his actual face, it's a very genuine scene. I really loved it. And I like that she wasn't scared. Like, she said, yes, it obviously is shocking, and she's going to need to think a little bit. And I love how she said, but it is a face I'd sit on. I mean... It's just perfect, it is. I mean, yes, it's it's silly, but it's perfect because no other Marvel movie they could say that in, and I just, I love that. I love it. I think it's awesome. The ending with them was perfect. And then the post credit scene, oh my god, I loved it. The nods to Ferris Bueller's Day Off, um, things like that. Deadpool literally asking us if we're still here and telling us to go home, and then blatantly saying that we're not going to have a post credit scene, and saying that there's going to be Cable. No, I know nothing about this character, let me just say, and I know, I know I'm stupid for not knowing that, but you guys know, I go into these movies blind. I don't want to know a lot about the characters. I don't look up their history. I don't want to. I want to go into it not knowing a lot so I can be surprised, because I think if you go in having all this research, you're going to be disappointed, and that's why I didn't do anything of that with Deadpool. I knew absolutely nothing about this character except what the trailers told us and I'm very happy I did um 
I just love the way the movie ended. I thought that was perfect. And overall, guys, I doubt also that speech that Colossus gave him. Some people might say that he didn't really listen to Colossus, and I kind of understand that. But in many ways, I think he did because he saved Vanessa. And yes, he has four other deeds to pull off, but I kind of see Colossus as kind of being like a mentor to Wade. Like, he's going to come in when he needs him. I do feel we're going to see Colossus and Warhead again in the... um other movies, I definitely think that's going to happen, but we'll have to see. But overall, guys, I absolutely love Deadpool. It's probably one of the best superhero movies I've ever seen, and without a doubt, Deadpool gets a 5 out of 5 or an A+. And I know some of you might be like, what? An A+, why not a 4.5 out of 5? I just feel this movie was done perfectly. If There really wasn't anything that I'd change. There wasn't anything that I feel they could have done differently, and I literally have no complaints. When I have no complaints over anything, I gotta give the movie an A+. I just have to, and I, I don't feel right about grading this movie if I don't give it an A+. I just wouldn't feel right about it. So overall, guys, I know you guys saw Deadpool. I absolutely love this movie. Everything about it, it was hilarious, but it was also very impactful, surprisingly. Like, it had a really good message, and I very much was surprised by that. Like I said, look, to the, look forward to this poster being up in the next few videos and I will see you guys in the next video which will be for Team Wolf and I will see you guys for that. Okay, bye.